Welcome to another video. This video includes 10 nursing practice questions to teach you how to master the NCLEX. At the end of the video, check out the description for studying resources and more. Practicing nursing questions frequently is the best way to pass many nursing exams. Now let's begin. Starting with question 1. The nurse writes the following nursing diagnosis for a client in acute renal failure, impaired gas exchange related to decreased red blood cell production, increased levels of vitamin D, increased red blood cell production, decreased production of renin. The correct answer is decreased red blood cell production. Red blood cell production is impaired in renal failure owing to impaired erythropoietin production. This causes a decrease in the delivery of oxygen to the tissue and impairs gas exchange. Which of the following nursing orders has the highest priority for a child with epiglottitis? Vital signs every shift. Tracheostomy said at bedside. Intake and output. Specific gravity every shift. The correct answer is tracheostomy set at bedside. If the epiglottitis worsens, the edema and laryngospasm may close the airway and an emergency tracheostomy may be necessary. A male client is scheduled to have angiography of his left leg. The nurse needs to include which of the following when preparing the client for this procedure. Validate that he is not allergic to iodine or shellfish. Instruct him to start active range of motion of his left leg immediately following the procedure. Inform him that he will not be able to eat or drink anything for four hours after the procedure. Inform him that vital signs will be taken every hour for four hours after the procedure. The correct answer is validate that he is not allergic to iodine or shellfish. Angiography, an invasive radiographic examination, involves the injection of a contrast solution through a catheter that has been inserted into an artery. A 70-year-old female client is admitted to the medical intensive care unit with a diagnosis of cerebrovascular accident. She is semi-comatose, responding to pain and change in position. She is unable to speak or cough. In planning her nursing care for the first 24 hours following a cerebrovascular accident, which nursing diagnosis should receive the highest priority. Ineffective airway clearance related to immobility, ineffective cough, and decreased level of consciousness. Altered cerebral tissue perfusion related to pathophysiological changes that decrease blood flow. Potential for injury related to impaired mobility and seizures. Impaired verbal communication related to aphasia. The correct answer is ineffective airway clearance related to immobility, ineffective cough, and decreased level of consciousness. An effective airway is necessary to prevent hypoxia and subsequent cardiac arrest. A behavioral modification program is recommended by the multidisciplinary team working with a 15-year-old client with anorexia nervosa. A nursing plan of care based on this modality would include Role-playing the client's eating behaviors. Restriction to the unit until she has gained 2 pounds. Encouraging her to verbalize her feelings concerning food and food intake. Provision for a high-calorie, high-protein snack between meals. The correct answer is restriction to the unit until she has gained 2 pounds. The behavioral modification model is based on negative and positive reinforcers to change behavior. A client has been admitted to the nursing unit with the diagnosis of severe anemia. She is slightly short of breath, has episodes of dizziness, and complains her heart sometimes feels like it will beat out of her chest. The physician has ordered her to receive two units of packed red blood cells. The most important nursing action to be taken is starting an 18-gauge-4 infusion, having the consent form on the chart, administering the correct blood product to the correct client, transfusing the blood in a two-hour time frame. The correct answer is administering the correct blood product to the correct client. Administering the correct blood product to the correct client will maintain physiological safety and minimize transfusion reactions. 
The nurse caring for a client who has pneumonia, which is caused by a gram-positive bacteria, inspects her sputum. Because the client's pneumonia is caused by a gram-positive bacteria, the nurse experts define the sputum to be bright red with streaks, rust-colored, green-colored, pink-tinged and frothy. The correct answer is rust-colored. Pneumococcal pneumonia, caused by gram-positive bacteria, has a characteristic productive cough with green or rust-colored sputum. The nurse who is caring for a client with pneumonia assesses that the client has become increasingly irritable and restless. The nurse realizes that this is a result of prolonged bed rest. The client's maintaining a semi-fowler position. Cerebral hypoxia. IV fluids of 2.53 liters in 24 hours. The correct answer is cerebral hypoxia. Cerebral hypoxia causes the client with pneumonia to be increasingly irritable and restless and results from the client not obtaining enough O2 to meet metabolic needs. The nurse is caring for a client who has diabetes insipidus. The nurse would describe this client's urine output pattern as anuria, oliguria, dysuria, polyuria. The correct answer is polyuria. Polyuria is a primary symptom of diabetes insipidus. These clients have decreased or absent vasopressin secretion, which causes water loss in the urine and sodium increases. Assessment of severe depression in a client reveals feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness, inability to feel pleasure, sleep, psychomotor, and nutritional alterations, delusional thinking, negative view of self, and feelings of abandonment. These clinical features of the client's depression alert the nurse to prioritize problems and care by addressing which of the following problems first. Nutritional status. Impaired thinking. Possible harm to self. Rest and activity impairment. The correct answer is possible harm to self. Possible harm to self as with suicidal ideation, a suicide plan, means to execute plan and or overt gestures or an attempt must be addressed as an immediate concern and safety measures implemented appropriate to the risk of suicide. Well, that's it with this video. See you next week for another set of questions. Leave a comment saying how many you got correct.